Good evening, everybody. I'm Jan Yanahiro. And I'm Richard Hart. You know, Rich, I've often said that we have the best job in the world it's because true. we got paid to travel, to meet celebrities, the stars. But on the other hand, we're also compelled to do things sometimes we just assume not. Well, because here's the a, producers told us we had to. Here's what we mean. Something that has always made for special moments has been our spirit of adventure. Hi, adventure. Jesus. You know, I just had this funny thought. We're going to jump off this bridge on a bungee cord. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, one more time. One more time. All right, great ride. Can I park this thing here? The only thing I'm slightly nervous about is the landing. Damn, it's a lot of fun. And celebrities have made for some of our more celebrated moments. You're on your fourth marriage. Right. You've messed up three, and you've admitted that. Wait a minute! I didn't say I messed up. The, it, I said I those read three. I that in one of these articles. I said that. Yes, in well, one of these articles. I messed up two of them. The other, no, actually, I probably messed up all three of them. It is true. Hi guys. The only consistent thing about the shows in the other countries is that Magnum always has a deeper voice than I do. My life is certainly never dull, and it's certainly never boring. What's Joan like today, as opposed to two years ago? Much happier. First of all, I love it. Secondly, it's a, it's a different role than I've ever played. You're here in your dressing room. You're all made up, all dressed up. You're going to walk out that door now onto the stage. What's the last thing you do? Is there anything you run down in your mind? Is my fly zipped? <laughs> That's your last thought. <laughs> yeah. And the ever brave, ever hardy Richard has given us some pretty crazy moments. Now put him in, put him in, get your head, get the head between your teeth and put put the right in and crush him, eat him, chew him, get him in the back and that's it and oh that's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's um it's <coughs> But personally, for me, some of my favorite moments were very tender. Children's Hospital of San Francisco. Enter the world of the Newborn Intensive Care Unit, a place where miracles are performed every day. Here, skilled medical teams work round the clock to save the sickest and tiniest of babies, some weighing only a pound. And today, they expect to take her off of the respirator. Yeah. I can't wait to see her without it. I haven't seen her whole face. For the last two years, Sister Julie, Brother Toby, and Sister Marty have been bringing babies with AIDS home to the place they call Star Cross Community. Wow! Oh, aren't you 
you a okay. big girl. <gasps> Some moments were very real. We were at Lake Tahoe to do a story on Lee Taylor. He wanted to set a record as the fastest man on water. He died trying to do it. Now he's going there. On Evening Magazine, we've seen a life begin, a birth. We've seen life end. We've seen everything that happens to people in between. It's not scripted. We're not doing a movie and we don't say, all right, here's what we're going to do and then act it out. We just let the cameras roll and real stuff happens. And sometimes when that real stuff happens, it's not what we would have liked to happen or wanted to happen, but that's real life. And for me, that's the greatest thing that you can share with other human beings is real lives. And you know, the wonderful thing for us, Jan, was that not only did we get a chance to show our audience these people's lives, we were there. We had a chance to actually join in, and that's something that not many people get a chance to do. Well, what can we say? We're proud of the 13 years of Calls this Calls for show. a celebration, Yeah, so we got people to thank, places to go, so stay with us.